I can barely believe it. We are at the end of the review. So lesson 220, I am not a body. I am free. I am as God created me. Last one, you guys, we're reviewing lesson 200. There is no peace except the peace of God. Mic drop, end of story. There is no peace except the peace of God. Let me not wander from the way of peace, for I am lost on other roads than this. But let me follow him who leads me home, and peace is certain as the love of God. Isn't that nice? So, <laughs> I am not a body, I am free, for I am still as God created me. So, well done. I think we should be feeling good that we got through the review. I am not a body. I am free. I am still as God created me. Maybe today take some time to reflect on the changes that you've seen in yourself and in your thinking and in your, in your awareness of your own thoughts. There is no peace except the peace of God. Yes. Let me not wander from the way of peace, for I am lost on other roads other than this. But we do take some detours, don't we? But let me follow him who leads me home, and peace is certain as the love of God. So if you have faith in the love of God, you got that peace too. Lesson 220. Jesus said peace is your natural state of being. He did not say it was your normal state of being, though. Oh, no, definitely not. Your normal state of being is agitated, judging, fearful, frustrated, stressed out. Oh, that's normal for you. but. Your natural state of being is one of peace. So because your normal state of being is not one of peace and you haha, naturally would like to get to peace, you try to use alcohol and television to find peace in your mind. And Jesus said at first, it does seem like you have a little reprieve and you have some peace and you have some rest, but really you are not getting peace you are getting unconscious. And then the ego gets in charge. So your assignment for this quest of peace is to learn discernment for your thoughts, to read a course in miracles anytime you get off track, find the truth again, and keep your peace. So that really is a good way to break it down. You become aware of your thoughts. You know which ones are ego. You try to get them out, not with any type of substance or anything. You try to keep the peace by regulating with discernment. I don't want this toxic thought in here. You know, you don't give it attention. You don't give it fuel. You got to get it out of you. So keeping the peace inside of you, reading A Course in Miracles instead of vegging out on the boob tube drinking a beer you know like yes you think that's what you want to do after you worked a long hard day but actually you're putting your mind in an unconscious state which makes you very susceptible to programming to control to the ego's directive all right so anyways that's that um, keep your peace. Uh, peace is your natural state of mind. So basically, if society won't be messing with you, you would be more naturally at peace. But um, you can observe this in other people and yourself that your normal state of being is probably like overwhelmed and agitated. So let's do something about that. Pathwaysoflight.org. Welcome to the reading, A Course in Miracles Workbook Lesson 220 Insights review. I am not a body. I am free. I am still as God created me. There is no peace except the peace of God. Peace does not seem certain because the love of God does not seem certain. The ego does not trust God because it projects its own capriciousness on God. Just as the ego withholds appreciation from those it judges. It believes God would do the same. The ego cannot conceive of an existence without condemnation and projection because the ego is the idea of rejection. The Course tells us that love does not condemn. Therefore, God, being love, must not condemn. 
Total lack of condemnation is inconceivable to the ego because judgment is the means by which the ego holds separation in place. Likewise, condemnation is inconceivable to love because love is unity and unity is held together by love. To the ego, the love of God cannot be relied upon. What it hides is that the only reason God's love cannot be relied upon is because the ego has rejected it. Lay down the rejection and the certainty of God's love is instantly revealed. That is why the way home is to follow the one given me by God in my mind, who knows the way. He is not fooled by the ego's lies, deceptions, and insanity. He knows the truth that I remain safe at home and in love. His job in my mind is to help me release the false ideas so the reality of the peace of God can return to my awareness. In truth, there is no certainty except the peace of God. There is no opposite. I am grateful for the grace of God that would not accept insane ideas of separation and specialness as real. I am grateful for the grace of God that gave me the means in my mind to find my way out of insane dreams and return home to his loving arms. If I am not experiencing peace, it is because I have wandered away from peace. Peace has not left me, I left peace. Peace is always there waiting from my return. As I am willing, I have a guide who will return me to the peace of God. What I experience, I am choosing. If I am not happy with my choice, then I can open my mind to the one who knows a better way. Thinking I am independent of God has not brought me happiness. Now I would be willing to follow in the gentle ways of peace. Right now I am willing to open my mind to the experience of God's peace. To do this, I must follow the gentle guide who is always in my mind waiting to return me home. For this, I give thanks. Pathwaysoflight.org Yuppers, it is definitely a choice as to what you're putting your attention on now. You know too much. You're smarter than that. So if you are not feeling peace, you are, you are, you are following the ego's ways, mate, and get back on track. Get back to peace. Get back to choosing the other guide, <laughs> the other guide that will take you home. So anyways, be aware of your thoughts. Don't let them run idle. Don't let them run you into the ground. Don't let them run you into annoyance town. It's better, much better to stay in your heart and stay in peace and clear your mind and clarify your mind and discipline your mind. And if you've made it to lesson 220, by golly, you are doing very well with disciplining your mind. Enough to do even a lesson a day is a great accomplishment. So you're well on the way on the, tr the track for you that is happiness and peace. So good job. Good, 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 good job. We are wrapping up this review with lesson 220. I am not a body. I am free for I am still as God created me. There is no peace except the peace of God. Plain and simple, let me not wander from the way of peace, for I am lost on other roads than this. And then look at all the crazy things you do on those other roads, trying to attain peace in ways that you won't find it. But let me follow him who leads me home. And peace is certain as the love of God. So lay your judgment down. Um, watch out when the ego wants to say God could never be completely loving. That's the ego's projection because the ego is never completely loving. I am not a body. I am free for I am still as God created me. So well done on that review.
we did it. <laughs> Yay.